Hammond from Honeywell. And Nice to see you all again. I have with me this morning Tony Brum. Tony is setting up the projector right now. He's also one of the best control people in the Northeast, in addition to his projector duties. <laughs> and I have Neil Benzel with us. And Neil is our performance contracting engineer. And I'll get into it. You contracted with Honeywell for performance contract, energy saving performance contract, and it has been very successful for the county. And it's coming on the end of its 10 year term, 1999. Um, I jotted down, we had initial estimates of a million three, round numbers, a million three for cumulative savings for you over that nine year period. And at the end of nine years, we've had uh, savings of a million four, so over $100,000 in your favor with savings. So the program has worked very well for the county. If you recall, a few months back, you had asked me to come in and see if there's anything additional we can do, and that's what you're going to see here today. What we did is, Anil and some of our technicians went through seven more of your buildings that weren't initially represented under the, the, the first program, in addition to the buildings in the first program, to see if we could take them the next step further. And we have some very positive results, and that's what I'd like to put forward for you today. Side of any of the projects we do, green technologies, wind, solar, etc., and the benefits of that. And then the last part of the project team, we have myself, Pat Salmon. Steve DiStefano is a project manager. He could not be with us here today. Uh, it's important Steve worked on your previous projects, and he worked with the, the Lebanon Housing Authority also, so he's very familiar with the area. And we have a separate arm, Honeywell Global Finance. If you choose to proceed with any portion of this, Honeywell will not finance the project, but Lynn is at your beck and call to shop around for rates, whatever the case may be as far as putting finance Well, the together. last time you were here, though, you did finance it. Yes, right? we did. What happened was with everything that Sneak happened in the last year. Exactly. Okay. That's very good. Thank you. Um, in the last year, with all the changes and everything else, uh, <coughs> the financing got a little different. So now what we do is we assist with financing. We still have those papers, but we don't carry the paper anymore as far as fees. We have all of the quality and environmental certifications. We are very pleased that Forbes magazine named us one of the best managed companies and the world's number one diversified technology company. Specific successful experience with us in performance contracting, but we did the nation's first performance contract in 1985. Capital projects, uh, limited money for capital projects, tax base, limited tax growth maybe, or reluctant. Possibility of 14 what we call ECMs, energy conservation measures. Um, of those 14, there is additional lighting, lighting control upgrades that can be done. Technology has actually changed on the lighting end since you first did yours, that there are more savings that could be mined with newer technology that's available today. Now this is a 50,000 foot level, as you can see. But some of the detail is contained in what you have there. And what we tried to do here right now is just see, is there a project? Does it make sense for you to consider going forward? The uh, proposed economics of what we're looking at here works out to about $1.8 million, of which would support itself on savings from energy, operational savings, and capital cost avoidance savings, similar to what you have done already. And that, there are the three savings that are allowed by the X77 performance contracting law, pure energy savings, capital cost avoidance savings, or operational savings. Uh, it's a significant project. It represents a significant project for you. As a side bar, 25 acres of trees, or removing 72 homes. So it is significant. In the scope of what we do and see, they are, they are very good reduction numbers. We're here and we are successful with you and it's been a very good business relationship on both sides. We appreciate your business and I think you appreciate what we do for you. Restrooms weren't considered. Mm -hmm. I will, I'll turn it to Anil and I will answer from the first point. Right now, all of that, what you have is very preliminary. It's a 50,000 foot level. So if you say, Pat, let's go ahead with this, we'll come to a memo of understanding or a letter of intent and move forward. At that time, we drill down and we'll put them in. I think what Anil will answer. What is the immediate benefit to them with that ECM, Anil? What does that well, do? The, the benefit is that you use less water when you're using ozone. You use less water washing your, doing your laundry. And that's the water and the heat to, the energy to heat that water. So you're saying, and then um, the next one, in a home, normally the first thing they tell you to do is insulate and replace your windows and doors even, and that will save you the most energy. And I've not seen that in these proposals, and I was wondering if it's not cost effective or there's no cost saving. I mean, I, I don't understand that's why. A, that's yeah. a great question. It comes up literally every time. And Neil, do you want to take that? Again, same, you know, it's a long, you already answered the question, it's a very long payback item. Long payback. Right. 
So the answer is yes, we can. And so going to the next phase, we yes. will look at that. We will put that out as an option for you. And then my final question is, there are many grants out there to help pay for um, upgrades when it comes to energy efficiency. You say you'll help us to get bank loans, but will you help us to get grants? Do you help with grant writing assistance? And do you have a list of grants that we can tap into? Uh, yes, we have a list of the grants. We, by law, I don't believe we can write the grant application. You have to. That's what we have done in other instances. Oh, we can assist. assist. We will assist with it. And that's and that's the standard next step that we do in any of these. We'll, with your approval, we'll go to an investment grade audit, and that's when you will see the hard quotes, hard numbers. Mm -hmm. What we have here are engineering assumptions based from standard fact and engineering right. guides, etc. But we can actually get in there. We'll have actual quotes. We'll see exactly and certainly dial in the savings numbers much more. Well, now they're up to 15. You can extend it up to 15, which is, it allows you to do much more. That five year, extra five year period allows 15. You can do 10, or you can do five. So Whatever we have a choice. Do. Yes, absolutely. Max 77 now, most of the ones we're doing actually, 99% uh, now are 15 years. They run them out to the 15 year max because you can get more stuff. That's well, uh, I guess to keep things moving then, uh, since we have a a verbal pattern of what would be on that. I'll make a motion to move forward with a Honeywell audit. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 aye.